to Jefferson County tonight to visit a virtual school with a real life problem. Students in Jefferson County who don't see each other in class lose out on an important annual event. A financial mistake means they don't have the money for their end of the year dance. Dominic Garcia went to Lakewood to learn about this problem. So even though this is a virtual online school, students occasionally still meet here at this campus in Lakewood. And it's here we met one amazing girl who told us what makes this place so special. That was a hike we went on. This was Skate City, which was a There are a number of reasons kids go to Jeffco's Virtual Academy. We have a really good community here. Things like scheduling or maybe traditional school just wasn't for them. We're a team. For the longest time, school wasn't easy for Tabby Daniels. I struggle with depression and anxiety. In middle school, I was struggling with going to school. But when she found this school, things started to change. And now that she's a senior. Now I'm a class president. But the president is now trying to figure out how to fix a big problem. You see, they have this end of the year dance coming up. Last year, it was at the aquarium. We don't really have classes we go to every day, and we don't really have that social social interaction every day. This year, they booked the butterfly pavilion, but it turns out money the school thought they had for it was allocated for something else. Parents chipped in, but the school is small, and they're still 600 bucks short. This dance is really important, especially to online students, because of that social aspect. Tabby hopes someone can help. For her classmates, this is so much more than just a dance. This high school dance is just a way for us to experience the traditional high school dance that any other school would have. So needless to say, this is a big deal to these students. If you would like to help out, we've got all the information on our website at cbsdenver.com. In Lakewood, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.